Dishing Up an Organics Collection Program. Welcome and thank you for joining today's webinar. My name is Jessica Aldridge, Sustainability Director for Athens Services and Outreach and Education Liaison with Recycla. Today, I will be discussing food service recycling programs. We will go over new legislation related to recycling and waste or resource management and specifically discuss new ways to handle food waste in the city of Los Angeles. This webinar is brought to you by the City of Los Angeles Recycla Program and the Recycla Service Providers, which include Athens Services, CalMet Services, NASA Services, Republic Services, Universal Waste Systems, Ware Disposal, and Waste Management. Today's webinar is going to cover California laws regarding waste, recycling, and food waste the best practices for establishing waste prevention and management practices for food service providers, recycling and food waste collection programs, and how to work with your Recycla representatives. The importance of food waste. Effective waste reduction, recycling, and composting is necessary to comply with state laws, but also has benefits for your business's sustainability and bottom line. Here are some reasons why food waste has become a focus for waste prevention efforts. In 2012, the Natural Resources Defense Council reported 40% of edible food gets thrown away each year. According to Feeding America, over 4.5 million California residents are food insecure, not knowing from where their next meal will come. Organics, including food waste, when disposed in the landfill is a major human-made contributor of greenhouse gas emissions. Remember to recycle. We will focus on food waste in this webinar as the separation of wasted food is relatively new for many businesses. However, reducing and recycling other forms of waste continue to be very important. You can learn more about recycling in the Recycling Simplified webinar. As for today, we will share some of the best practices for recycling at your food service establishment. California legislation. The City of Los Angeles is responsible for ensuring that all businesses comply with state law. Let's talk about some of the resource management related laws that will likely affect your business. Assembly Bill 341 requires businesses that create more than four cubic yards of waste per week to implement an on-site recycling program. Do you already have recycling on site? If so, great. If not, and you produce more than four cubic yards per week, then you need a recycling program, and this webinar will help you get into compliance. Assembly Bill 1826 mandates that organics be separated from trash. Any business that generates more than four cubic yards of solid waste must separate yard and food waste. If you also have landscaping waste, you are responsible for ensuring your landscaping service complies with state laws as well. Senate Bill 1383 is a more recent policy. The goal of this law is to reduce the levels of greenhouse gas emissions to 1990 levels. One of the main ways to achieve this goal will to be greatly reduce the amount of food, food soil paper, and green waste going into landfills. As part of the Recycla program, organics collection of all organics material includes food, food soil paper, and green waste. All of these should be included in your service options. Contact your recycling service provider for more information on their organics program. Assembly Bill 827 requires any businesses that provide trash receptacles for customer use to also provide recycling and organics containers. These recycling and organics receptacles must be visible, easily accessible, adjacent to trash receptacles, and clearly marked with educational signage as specified. Full service establishments are exempt. In this webinar, we will discuss some key ways you can both comply with current laws and provide an eco-friendly eating establishment for your employees and patrons. Good for the planet, good for your business. Complying with laws is only one reason to assess your waste stream and look for opportunities to reduce, reuse, and recycle. Did you know a growing number of consumers prefer to eat at eco-friendly establishments? Personal finance site The Balance says that recent surveys indicate that 65% of consumers are willing to pay up to 10% more for green dining. 
with 7 out of 10 consumers noting that they are very interested in restaurants that try to protect the environment. Showing your commitment to waste reduction is a great way to build a loyal following. And many of your waste reduction efforts may actually save you money. When food is wasted, it is a direct hit to your bottom line, not just because you didn't achieve the profit expected on the prepared food, but dealing with excess food and packaging increases expenses. According to ReFed's Restaurant Food Waste Action Guide, restaurants that start tracking and reducing food waste have noted a 6% decrease in purchasing costs. And by now, you've heard that through the Recycla program, the cost of recycling the blue bin material is bundled with your trash container for no additional fee. By separating your trash from your recyclables, you may be able to reduce your service level and save money. Let's get started. First, we're going to focus on ways to reduce the overall amount of non-food related waste that is created. We'll talk about incorporating reusables into your business instead of disposables and discuss recycling programs and best practices for traditional recyclable materials. Then we'll discuss many options for what you can do with the potentially wasted food to help reduce, reuse, redirect, and recycle your part of the 1.3 billion tons of food that are wasted globally each year. Reduce and reuse. Let's talk about ways to reduce and or reuse packaging and disposable food service wear at your business. Do you serve food in disposables even when patrons are eating outside? If so, using reusable coffee mugs, plates, and flatware is one of the best ways to stop waste in its tracks. While switching to reusables and adding dishwashing facilities and extra labor may at first seem more expensive, you may be surprised at how quickly the break-even point is achieved. Let's look at a few examples of the surprising savings that some establishments have found when switching to reusable options. According to Waste Dive Media, one restaurant in Alameda County, California, set out to transform their dine-in operations. This meant offering reusables over disposables to their customers. After investing $345 in reusable utensils, they found that they saved $1,272 annually in inventory and hauling costs. Even larger franchises like Subway saw the impact of their waste and made the change to offer only reusable water cups and silverware sets for dine-in customers. Their individual investments of $120 to $300 led to a collective annual savings of $7,458 for 11 franchise locations. If you are interested in seeing how a switch to reusables can yield savings for your business, check out Rethink Disposables Foodware Calculator to determine how your annual cost of foodware can be reduced by replacing it with a reusable product. Not sure where to start? Here are some programs your food service business can implement to reduce waste and encourage the use of reusable materials. First, talk to your vendors about receiving deliveries in reusable crates. Eliminate coffee stirs and only offer straws when requested by the customer. Purchase ingredients and supplies in bulk. Keep ketchup pockets out of the landfill and establish a designated area for self-serve condiments. For takeout customers, only include condiment packets when requested. Beverage containers are recyclable, but utilizing a bulk beverage dispenser with reusable cups will decrease the chance of contaminating your recycling bin. Allow customers to use reusables. Perhaps you have concerns about allowing outside food containers and how this may impact your health permit. Well, there's a new law in town. Assembly Bill 619 enables food service establishments to allow customers to bring their own containers. You will need to meet health code requirements and protocols, but as customers will start asking to utilize this service, you may want to learn about the new law now and determine if you can meet consumer interest. Clean consumer owned containers may be provided for filling by either an employee or the customer. The container must be isolated from the serving area surface or the serving area surface must be sanitized between customers. The bill requires that the containers are designed for reuse and require the food facility to prepare, maintain, and adhere to written procedures to prevent cross-contamination. The written procedure must be available to the enforcement agency. 
This bill would also authorize a local enforcement agency to allow a temporary food facility like a farmer's market to utilize multi-use utensils that are clean, rinsed, and sanitized at either the temporary food facility or an approved food facility. Recycling. Food service establishments are typically large generators of blue bin recyclables that include cardboard boxes, glass beer, wine, and spirit bottles, beverage containers, plastic and metal food containers, and paper items. Make sure the items in your blue bin are cleaned and dry. You'll find lots of good information in the Recycle Right webinar on how to recycle these items. If you have not already watched it, it's a great resource to discuss what is recyclable and how to ensure your recycling stream is not contaminated. For food service operations, it's important to remember that recycling collection containers will need to be established both for patron use as well as in the back of the house for kitchen staff use. Remember, recycling is provided without additional charge to recycle customers. By separating your recyclables from your trash, you may be able to purchase less service and save money. The food recovery hierarchy. Now we are going to talk more specifically about recycling and waste reduction strategies for the biggest component of most food service operations, the food waste. In 2014, CalRecycle reported that food waste constitutes nearly half of what is thrown away by restaurants and food and beverage stores. As we previously discussed, how we handle food waste is going to change over the next few years. The EPA has established the food recovery hierarchy to guide our practices around managing excess food. Why is this so important? Well, more food reaches landfills and incinerators than any other single material in our everyday trash. The LA Food Policy Council states that over 1 million tons of food goes into our landfills every year. For each ton of food waste disposed, 1,080 pounds of carbon dioxide is emitted into the atmosphere. Source reduction. The main way to reduce food waste is to limit the amount of excess food purchased and prepared in the first place. The place to start? Perform a food waste audit. See what food is being thrown out and why. Use information gathered to adjust menus, purchasing, and portion size. Learn more about performing a food waste audit and additional tips on reducing food waste surplus by visiting LA County Food Redistribution Initiative, or LACFRI, at savethefood.com. You may also want to integrate FoodKeeper into your operation. FoodKeeper is a free app developed by the USDA's Food Safety and Inspection Service to help maximize the freshness and quality of food and beverages. Food reuse. There are three initiatives that fall under food reuse. One is reusing food on site that has not been served. This could include ideas like incorporating leftover ingredients into a, a new meal. With a little planning, you may be able to turn today's waste into tomorrow's profit. The second food reuse initiative is sending excess food home with guests. Take a look at the food that is left on your guest's plate. If guests are frequently leaving more than 15% of their meal at the table, you may be able to reduce portion sizes without decreasing customer satisfaction. If you cannot resize your portions, you may wish to encourage patrons to bring their extras home. Perhaps even offer your regulars an incentive to bring their own takeaway containers with them. Feed hungry people. The third option to reuse food is to feed hungry people through food rescue and donation. Under Senate Bill 1383 by 2025, you will be required to donate no less than 20% of any leftover edible food through a food donation program. The Food Drop program provides resources to assist you. You can check out the County of Los Angeles Smart Business webpage for more information about the county program or contact your recycler representative to learn about local food rescue programs and partners. You may be worried about liability and donating leftover food. The Good Samaritan Act protects food donors from liability from donating in good faith to nonprofits. You're still responsible, though, for ensuring that the food is properly handled. Following county public health food donation guidelines, like keeping 
donation bound food at the correct temperature, and protecting the food from contamination. Find out more information on the Good Samaritan Act and ways you can donate through the LA County Food Redistribution Initiative at SaveTheFood.com. The next three priorities on the food recovery pyramid are to feed animals, industrial uses, and on-site composting. If you have enough space or minimal organics, you may be able to manage your own organics on site through composting or small scale on site technology. Alternatively, your Recycla service provider is able to collect and process organics for you. Recycling service providers utilize different methods for processing food scraps and organics. So contact your service provider for more information on what options are available to you. Landfill. When managed properly, very little organics material should be being sent to the landfill. Currently, we see organics go into the landfill that either have not been sorted properly or are unable to be separated from landfill bound material. For instance, food inside containers that cannot be recycled. Setting up an organics collection program. Your Recycla service provider is ready to meet with you to set up your organics collection program. During a meeting with your management team and chef, You'll discuss California laws, the food use hierarchy, the reasons to reduce waste, and the potential cost savings. During the walkthrough of the dining room, prep kitchen, the busing area, and the dishwashing section, your representative will identify where containers may be placed for more efficient separation and collection of recyclables, food waste, and trash. The volume of materials will be assessed along with workflow and space constraints. Your service representative will provide a proposal which will outline suggested service levels incorporating recycling, organics collection, and reductions in trash service needs. Best practices for implementation. Here are some important factors to consider when implementing your program. Your service provider can help in many aspects of the program implementation and can also provide no cost training for your staff. Group containers. Even though many kitchens have limited space, when possible, group internal waste receptacles together. The goal is to ensure an employee never has to walk further to throw something away in the correct stream. Color code. Color coding internal containers. Purchase or repurpose existing receptacles to match the waste stream colors, black for trash, blue for recycling, and green for food waste. This will provide employees a clear visual cue on how to sort their waste. Use different liners. Along with having different colored internal receptacles, take it a step further by utilizing different bag liner colors as well. Utilizing transparent bags for organics allows employees to check for contamination and ensures that the bags are being placed in the correct dumpsters. If all bags for each stream are black, then it can be difficult for an employee who is collecting multiple bags to tell them apart. Before deciding on the proper liners though, check with your service provider. Some may require the use of specific liner colors or types, such as certified compostable materials. Place clear signage. The easiest way to distinguish different streams is to use clear signage on and above receptacles at eye level. Laminate the signage to ensure it is cleanable and sturdy. If signs cannot be placed above receptacles, post them in communal areas so employees can easily reference them. Train all employees. In order to make sure this program is successful, all employees should be trained on the new program. This may take many training sessions at different shifts, but it's important that employees receive a consistent message. In a restaurant setting, all employees interact with the waste stream, so training the wait staff is just as important as training the kitchen staff. Support from management. Service providers can assist with setup and implementation, but buy-in from management is imperative to ensuring the program continues to be a success. Managers should go through the same training and be a resource to employees who have questions. Ongoing support. Once your program has started, you will want to continue to work with your staff to make it more efficient and successful. Bin size and location may need adjustments based on volume and workflow. Here are some other tips for a successful program. Ensure signage has clear photos of the items being generated in your business. 
Review common contaminants with employees during team meetings and allow time for suggestions on improvements that can be made to the program. Make sure all new employees are trained during the employee onboarding process. And finally, continue to maintain communication with your service provider regarding your pickup schedule. You may need to increase your food waste pickup and decrease your trash pickup once the program is in full swing. Don't forget, unused trash can space is costing your business money. So what's next? A successful food service recycling program will help reduce waste, improve company marketability, and be a positive experience for employees. By utilizing the expertise of your Recycla service provider and properly setting up the program, you will reap the benefits and maybe even save a few dollars. You will also save the headache of issues associated with contamination and excess costs. Sustainability will be incorporated into every facet of the food service industry in the years to come. By starting now, this will enable you to meet current compliance while prepping for the future. Thanks for taking the time to learn more about managing food waste at your business. Your Recycla service provider is dedicated to your minimizing waste and creating a successful program. Can we set up a time to meet with you? Contact us and be sure to check out our other webinars and resources to help you in your journey. Still have questions? Please post them below and complete an evaluation to help us help you.